What's going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time, we dealt with Ulrich. He told me he wants us to talk to Freyr Tobias. It's a little different. We never have this issue talking before. I have no idea where he's even at. I doubt I'm going to be right for Shraw. I'm going to be right for Shraw. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Master Feyfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. There. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his master's at odds with Sir Radzig. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzig has many enemies. That's fair. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins, then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. But here are these. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the quester. Okay. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sassau. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, well, this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. Uh, we command Herr Ulrich mm -hmm, to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Catholics, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. What? The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. Yes, so what, what does mean? all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. God be with okay. you. Okay, have I... Alright, so what quest do I have active right now? Okay, just all that glitters. Okay, speak with Ulrich and go to the counterfeit. Okay. Rumble. Have I even been to Sasa? Yeah, I have. Sasa was uh, right beside the monastery. Jeez, this is massive. 
Well, let's see if we can get good random encounters this time, because I feel like we're going to be walking for a couple till, till night now. See if we get lucky or not. Come on, some good luck. Am I really gonna get a single random encounter again? Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. We had three. I don't have any. Let's go. Let's go. I want to fight. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Two hundred dollars. I'll take that. None of these are really that good. Well, that was really depressed. Well, we're almost there already, so I'm kind of disappointed. Like I expected a fight with that guy, and a one shot. Let's do it! I was wondering if I was going to get another encounter. What are you gaping at, you piece of shit? Looking for a punch in the face, are you? You're dead. You? Are you guys dumb? <laughs> Stop What's it! What's the matter? Lost your balls? Again, I had this issue before. Where is my shield? Potion, hair dog potion. I'll take it. It's like you never know what you're gonna get there. And then this bandit head, more crackling, another unknown potion. Well, we're almost there. We're just walking. I really did, I mean, two random encounters, kill three people. Basically, they were all one shot of all, except for we got Headcracker randomly. It angered me because Ulrich survived it randomly. Really made it difficult, but you know. Welcome to the Sauce Cell. We've been here since we talked to the Tanner? No, we just did this. This is where we did Pestilence.
Master! So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him, and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Pfeiffer found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins, and quicksilver for the alma... alma... Mm. Uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forging. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. So that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Well, I guess we get the starting point. My question is... Ah! You're right here. I'm going. honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month, they've told me there's none. There's no quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently, he doesn't deal with such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Or Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm taking the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes hurt just to imagine it. Uh, it's all That's all I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay is getting expensive. What do you have for sale? Why not? Nice. Show me what you have to offer. Who's oh, treasure map? I mean, I have not even looked at a treasure map yet this run. I don't know if I'll need to. But, Paul fails. Hey, if you guys want to see additional videos in this game as we get through, leave a comment below and I'll do it eventually. I do really good about actually keeping my promise on those videos. I know one thing I've been debating doing is, uh, back in the day, started a channel right before, I think right around here, of the Call of Duty stuff, and I'm gonna play Modern Warfare because I'm like, I like it. Call of Duty that I get into again. And I'm like, no. There's an Uzi in that game now. Could do Uzi crossing again. Then again, I've always been wanting to use it. Like, always use it. Alright. Oh, let's see what is in here. Overseer, what's up, bruh? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for some quicksilver. Did you have any on hand? Talk to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. Fine, thank you. Do that was lame. May the Lord so watch over you. I literally talk. Ah! That better not have hurt me. 
I am at your service, Sir Knight. I'm not a knight! Do you have any Quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. I'll do that. Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. We have no Quicksilver because none has arrived. Get it? None. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, I beat you up now. Yeah, I beat you up. Listen, the ba I've already. T oh, I can beat him. Bollocks. Him. Tell me this instant what you've done with the goods. Nothing. And I'd advise you to calm down. We're on hallowed ground. You're a fine one to speak of hallowed ground. A lying thief in monastic robes. What next? A whore dressed as a nun? This is blasphemy. I'll give you blasphemy. I'm sure you know what our Lord did to the money changers in the temple. What? What do you mean? You're not going to hurt me, are, are you? Tell me what's going on here, and I won't have a reason to. Jesus. But I didn't know anything about any counterfeiting. For your sake, I hope that's true. Now tell me what's been going on. I swear, I, I wouldn't normally do anything like that. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Raporta. Scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling, he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what? Did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. Hmm. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Raporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What, they yeah. what did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Wow. What's your name? Very well. Thank you. God be with you. Alright, so what are my options here? See, I have two indicators. Yeah, let's go sneak with Freyr. I don't want to just rush in and kill people. Even though that's what I do. For now, we actually have four treasure maps, which is kind of funny. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but, you know. To be! Run faster, Henry! I think it was Hayward. Oh no, he's a freaking friar. I should know where he's not going to be. Hey! He's here again! Well, I never. Henry! Hey! Wait! What? They're alive? I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. Really? 
Bullets. There it is. Bloody Joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way up. Ah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. <laughs> you said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasal. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. Well, another run of Southwest. Take care. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm glad they're alive. Yeah, I think that everybody of his friends are alive. Yeah, boys. and fresh from the woods or from yeah, the there land. He is. Oh, 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 Greetings. What business have you? You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want it known that I'm in town. Right. So what have you found out so far? I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right, it was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical explanation. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. Have you been there to have a look around? Not yet. Maybe it would be worth the time. I'll go and see. And have you found out who's behind it? Someone called Rapata. Not much, but it's a start. At least it's not a common name. Listen, Henry. I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. And there's a man I know who works at the monastery yard. Master Engraver, Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He'd never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think of something. That's all. May huh. the Lord watch over you. If I'm not mistaken, Celestia was very close to the Kingdom of Bohemia. Uh, Alright, oh, we have two indicators to go through. We have B and C. So guys, next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance, we'll talk to B and C.